Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In today's video we're going to see how we can change variables and group things in Click in a different way. So we can use the input variables, change the parameters and this will also change our groups. Okay, we'll use a very simple example so that you can follow up with the instructions and replicate it in your uh, Click. And this app will also be available in the description below. Okay, hope you like it. So first I brought here a list of countries and GDP with population. I just got this from this website, Wordometer. And now that I have this table, I imported it to click. That simple, okay. Loaded, and then we can start to create our visuals. All right. If we bring here a scatter plot chart, so let's just bring our country the GDP field and also the population. We have now our first visual. Let me just bring here, rename the fields. Just change here the axis to with the minimum of zero, same for GDP. And one very important thing here is that we can add the reference lines. So if I bring here and the x axis, for example, 10 trillions. This will, I will need many zeros here. I don't even know how many zeros I have inputted. Apparently, one more. Okay, so now I have a reference line in this axis, and I can do the same thing in, in the other axis. I can give it a name here. A label so label X here we have it and same thing for the other axis so if we bring here um, one giga there we go but let's say that we want to create some uh, groups so in this case it's very diverse right so we have outliers here such as China, the US and India but if we zoom in in here we can like bring some reference lines that will cross let's say here and here and let's say that we want to group these countries from this axis this group like this cluster this cluster and so on so let's see how we can do that first step Let's cre create two variables, and these variables will dynamically change these axes. Okay, so let's go to the edit mode, come here to the variables. Let's call this the first one vx, and the default value will be zero. Same thing for y, let's call it vy, and the default value will be zero as well. Close it, and here we can bring a custom object. From the click dashboard bundle. Let's bring this variable input. And if we add here the x value and also the y value, <clears throat> let's come here to the options. We have here the variable, select a variable, vx, and this could be an input box, a slider, a drop down list. <clears throat> As you wish okay in this case let's just use the input box this is set as zero right now and the same thing will be for the y okay there we go how can we see if the value is changing or not when we click here let's also bring a visual this could be a KPI and to call a variable in the expression in click we use the dollar sign and Inside the inside quotes, not quotes, sorry, uh, parentheses, we bring the variables. So in this case, dollar sign, parentheses, opening parentheses, vx, which is my variable, and close parentheses. <clears throat> As you can see here in the expression, uh, we have the zero already. We can apply it. And now if I change this to, let's say, 20, there we go. We can see the values changing right here. 
and this will be the same thing for y okay but here in our chart we can also bring the values here so let's go to the add zone this in the x <clears throat> option in instead of bringing this value we will bring our variable and this is just for the visual okay uh, for the to create the group we don't really need to to create this reference lines but this makes it everything easier okay so now if I just let's bring here I don't know how many zeros it is I just I could have divided it before but now we are already here right so for not there yet there we go so four trillion dollars right here um, <clears throat> let's make it 400 billion okay this which means four giga and the other one will be let's make it bring it here to the y-axis as well this will be the vy <clears throat> and we can change it right here to better visualize everything I will copy and paste this visual but change here this will be Five hundred million, okay. But let's make it fifty hundred million, fifty million. Sorry, because with this we have more com countries inside each cluster. Now we will start to make use of the agar function, okay. But before that, let's first expand this sheet, extend it here. I will bring a table and we will create a virtual table with the agar function not right now I will just first create this table to explain what we're gonna do okay so here we have the country GDP and population now we need to establish some conditions to see if the country is up here or on the bottom and where is it right so we need to define where the country is let's call these four quadrants here the q1 q2 um q3 this could be here q3 and the other one will be q4 okay so we will create some conditions to verify if india for example is here 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 or here so basically it's quite simple the first rule is to verify if the country has the x value above the vx and above vy right so let's start with the expression and this will be a, a dimension okay so let's start here opening our function so this will be a, a virtual table and the column the second column will be country so all the conditions will be placed right here the first one is if the sum of gdp and the sum oh sorry the sum of gdp is above our variable which is vx and the sum of population is above our y axis y variable right if this is correct we can call this q1 q1 right here if not let's go to our second condition this will be q2 if um let me just remember here the gdp is the y value so if this is 
below or equals to our vx and this will be q2 <clears throat> when the gdp is above and the population is below this will be q3 and this could be below or equals to and the other one could be just the last like the q4 or if you prefer to repeat the 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 expression this could also work but let's close it like this okay and apply now let's see if this makes sense let's rank it by year low so Australia is in Q3 because the population is not that large same thing for Canada so let's check if they are um, if they make sense right so they should be here and there we go Canada Austra Australia Spain they are all in the Q3 and now if I filter if I click here in the Q3 I will apply a selection of 11 countries as you can see and they are all responding to my selection so this is very <coughs> interesting we can even use the variable to color not the variable, sorry, the dimension to color this um, chart. So let's bring here, let's give it a name. So cluster. We can we can bring it to our master items. So let's add it here, just as cluster, create it, and we can change the color of this chart using that same expression so adding here the dimension instead of country let's add the cluster so that's why we can we don't need the reference lines as you can see so let's say that we want to change the values in here so instead of 400 let's put it 200 so the axis will go down everything will be recalculated this is very poor to see because let's just make a selection here okay now it's much better so instead of five let's make it ten so as you can see it's working and you can play with it you can use this like in as a dimension so we can count how many countries are inside each cluster this will also update dynamically so let's bring here a table showing the cluster and let's count how many countries are inside each cluster so q2 has one country right here but if we go down to 550, no, yeah, so we will have five countries here in this cluster and we can select Q3, for example, with 27 countries and there we go. Okay, so I hope you like this video. Let me know if you like this kind of content. I hope it makes sense for you. I really like to explain in details how things work here in Click and this makes my life much easier in, in my work okay hope it makes yours too see you soon in the next video bye bye